Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know, and happy Vlogmas Day 12. such a nice order everything makes sense however in real life complete opposite i feel like a disaster right now i cannot even think straight so i just got back from wsf last night at like midnight and now we have to leave to go to the cruise in like 30 minutes i packed almost a week ago don't even remember what i packed don't remember what else i need to pack i feel like i'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off right now so we have 30 minutes to get everything in order so you guys already saw obviously the packing of the suitcase this is going to be my little like just beach bag for the week so i need to pack that with a few more things what else did i need to get i did make a list of everything that i believe i didn't pack before that i need to pack now some of the stuff i have to get out of my other suitcase most of it i feel like i kind of have but we just need to get everything together we have 30 minutes I was also hoping to be able to like blow dry and maybe style my hair so I can just go on the ship with nice hair, but that will be last. If we got time, we'll make that happen. If not, whatever. But I am so excited. I cannot wait. I just feel like I cannot even convince myself we're going on the cruise yet until I get everything done because I'm just all over the place in my head for some reason. So we're gonna try to get everything else done last minute around the house. And then we'll be on our way. All right, we are all good. We are all packed, hopefully. I have everything. I went down the list like seven times, so I think we're good. I ended up having time to blow dry my hair. I still cannot get over, like, it got so healthy and long out of nowhere. Like, the last few weeks, I don't know when that happened. It, like, shocks me every time that I see it, like, dry. But we're on the way. Are you excited? I can't wait. I'm so excited now that, like... I have just literally been like a machine the last few weeks, obviously because it's Vlogmas and I knew this was coming up. So I think I've edited like 12 videos in the last literally like week, week and a half. And I have been just a zombie, just like trying to get everything done, but we did it. I have my laptop just in case, but I don't plan on touching it once the entire week. It's gonna feel so good to just be kind of like work free for a little bit because this time of the year obviously always gets crazy, but I'm really proud of myself for like how much I got done leading up to this so I can actually just relax and enjoy this week and I'm so excited so we are going on MSC Magnifica I believe is the actual ship we're going on and I feel like this is such a random week to go on a cruise so I hope it's not very packed we actually like really want to enjoy the cruise ship so I'm gonna make every day a separate vlog so you guys are gonna see everything but we leave from Miami it is a four-day cruise we go to Nassau and then we spend two days in the like MSC private little port that they have the island and I like feel like I haven't even given myself a chance to really think about the cruise yet so I don't even know what to expect but I'm excited as soon as we get on the ship the first thing we're gonna do is go book like all of our excursions and stuff because if you didn't see the last video go watch that what the heck but I somehow in working with the cruise ship on this cruise i don't even know how that happened that is insane to me so we get like so much of like a credit to get excursions so i'm excited i don't even know i think we both the first thing we want to book is like a massage i think we're both on the same page with that I'm, as you crack your yeah thing. i'm in need of it if i'm being honest same i something about the competition like the backpack was so heavy my back is like cramping up it's a little bit better today but i was in so much pain last night so a nice massage on the beach it's exactly what the doctor called for for this week but we got 23 minutes until we get to the port and then we got to go through the whole check-in process which we've only really done royal caribbean so i'm not sure if it's the exact same for msc or whatnot but it's normally super easy and then we're on the ship all right so since the last time i talked to you when we were trying to get all the excursion stuff done we ended up meeting our new best friend we met patrick who has been amazing took us on a little tour of the whole ship booked us all of our excursions so we got everything figured out we got our massage booked we got like everything done he has been amazing and he's like listen if you just want to hang out on the ship if i'm not doing anything just like give me a call we'll hang out he has been the biggest help ever we got everything situated now so we just ended up going to the buffet to get lunch because 
we haven't eaten anything yet today and um someone had quite a few drinks already but i also was just starving we were gonna grab food on the way and we were like why would we pay for food when like everything on the ship is included we might as well just get on the ship and then go get lunch so went to the little buffet had i found out that this ship was italian i was trying to figure that out the whole time i was like what language is i don't i should have known better how did i not realize that but we got gelato on the ship we had some really good pizza some pasta already for lunch i am so excited so um i think the plan right now it's still pretty early it's only 153 right now and i mean we got nothing today technically until the ship takes off at like 5 30 or 6 and then we can go to dinner anytime between 6 and 9 which i love that that is my favorite thing is that we don't have a set dinner time and we can honestly just like whenever we want between those hours go show up and i feel like that is going to be huge for the program but this ship is definitely a smaller ship than what i'm used to but in such a like homey cozy way it doesn't feel overcrowded yet it's a little bit he was telling us that the ship is from 2010 too so it's like some of the design choices are a little bit like vintage but i feel like that's kind of the style that people are loving now it's kind of like the eccentric there's like animal print here and there and it's i like it it's it's very vintage i like it but in the meantime i think we're just gonna chill in the room for a little bit but let's give you a room tour before we destroy the whole thing while it's still somewhat clean we did put our stuff down and someone already got cozy in the bed but here's a room tour all right so obviously you walk in what is back here i didn't even open these yet okay we got some oh there's a lot of drawers actually and a nice closet to hang up all of our nicer outfits. And then the bathroom. This is actually, for this size of a ship, it's actually a really nice bathroom. So we have the shower here, the toilet, obviously. The mirror situation is phenomenal. And the lighting situation, actually. This is really nice in here. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time in here getting ready. And then you just come out. We have the TV. We got a little mini bar. The bed. How is it? Is it comfy? I'm drunk. <laughs> Honestly. We had no food in our system and we went straight to the bar while we were doing nothing. And also the bartender, so I ordered a mimosa because I was like, it's kind of the morning. Like, let's just start with a mimosa. Well, the guy making the drink just made an entire glass of champagne. So it was champagne with a splash of orange juice. So, uh, I needed to get food in my system real fast, but now we're feeling good. This is huge. No other ship I've been on has had this. This is a huge mirror. This is so nice. Right next to the bed. So you probably get a lot of OOTDs, alpha pics here. This is actually, this is so nice. I didn't realize how much I needed this. We got a little seating area. We got another bottle of champagne here. Some glasses. We got some fruit. This is actually, this is probably where I'll be getting ready. How's the lighting here? Okay. Not bad. I did bring my Alex Earl light though, so I will have some extra lighting. But we got the whole vanity set up here. And we have a balcony room. So obviously, like I said, we're still in Miami right now. But decent sized balcony. We got some nice seating areas. There's the skyline. Alright, we hung out for a little bit. Just relaxed for a minute. Got caught up on everything. And I think we're just going to go explore the ship i still feel like i'm like lost walking around and i don't like that yet i do want to explore so it says it says amusement park i don't know what that entails but there are some bowling lanes and i just feel like i don't like we explored a few things but i just really want to know like okay this side of the ship has this this side of the ship has that just so like later on when we actually need to be somewhere we know exactly where to go when do we want to do specialty dining there's like the main dining room what are you looking at <laughs> I keep, okay, okay, we need to move this because the champagne and ice, I keep almost knocking it over. Should we just put it up here? So there's the main uh, dining hall, and then there's like a specialty restaurant, which is like Asian fusion, and we get included like anytime we want to go there. We pretty much can. We can book, well, three nights. We have three nights of specialty dining included in our reservation. So I try to look at the menu of like what, because every night in the dining hall is like a different theme or like cuisine kind of thing. So we need to figure out exactly what day we want to substitute with the specialty dining and go there. But I also haven't seen the dining hall. We haven't seen any of that. So let's just go walk around. And There's one thing about us. It does not matter what we are doing. The second we see an outdoor activity, we're stopping whatever we're doing. And we're playing it every single time. We never fails.
made it to the theater, and here is our entertainment for the night, everybody. So our guest is Gabriella Fuller. Oh, me. Oh, both we are of us. Both okay. Be stunting and possibly tumbling, maybe like a standing tug or standing pull. That's for you, it. not for, for me. me. Um, Gabriella may be able to do a front handspring, but that's really about it. <laughs> um, so therefore, all of our guests will be seated. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. And then, like I said, we, we got a sold out show stage. tonight. Perfect. <laughs> I think with like six more shots, I think I'll be okay to perform. <laughs> Um, I know nobody's here yet, but just don't you worry. These seats will get filled. So, just give it some time. <laughs> See you guys tonight. And it is officially my favorite time of day. Sunset hour. Look how pretty. Oh, my God. I feel like oh, we should have not been in the room. I mean, we have many sunsets at sea, but, like, she's gorgeous. I wish we were on a deck somewhere. I mean, granted, good thing we have a balcony, but, like, she's beautiful. We are officially leaving Miami. It got dark so fast. Look how pretty the skyline is. Oh, so pretty. Anyway, I think we are officially going to be like unpacking our suitcases just to get our suitcases out of the way because we packed our largest suitcases just so we had plenty of room for everything. But now it's like, I just don't want them out because the room obviously has limited space. So I think we're gonna, I'm not normally an unpacker but because everything's in packing cubes, I feel like it'll make everything easier. So I'm just gonna take everything out of the suitcase, put it in some drawers and just put the suitcases probably in the closet just so they're out of the way. So they're not just taking up a whole lot of room. All right, we're about to get ready. I don't think we're gonna go to dinner yet, but I was like, I might as well just go get ready. Let's just go, probably go sit. And I love the way the ship is set up because it's all like lounges and it's also the other cruise ships I've been on, which have really only been Royal Caribbean, honestly. Everything is like centralized in the ship. So like basically the entire deck, like you just see all the way up, that's all the main like hangout areas and then all the rooms are on the outside. And I feel like this ship is kind of backwards. So it's like all the rooms are on the middle and all the hangout areas are on the other sides, which makes them like basically so secluded and like not as crowded at all. And everything is like a lounge, a couch, like it's not just like a bar seating area. Like it's so cozy and comfy and honestly I love it so we're probably just gonna get ready head to he wants an espresso martini I don't know what my drink of choice is gonna be like tonight or for dinner or anything I feel like I need to drink water I had a headache so I just got we cracked open the mini bar and oh yeah let's get drunk <laughs> he got a beer I just wanted a water I had a headache I want that to go away before we go to dinner but I really like don't want to do makeup tonight, but the outfits are all so dressy that like I have to. What do you think would go good in this beer? Normally it's a lime, but you think like a grape would go good in there? An orange, right? Don't people do that? I definitely want to see like a show in the theater. For sure. Our guy Patrick told us the last day is the best show, the like circus. But what else? Let's see what there is I hope tomorrow. They volunteer to do something cool. Well, I... that's what some of these like the game shows. So tonight in the Tiger Lounge is what did I say it was? Yeah, but we can't stun in that little ass lounge. Oh, no, that. But, like, things where you can just participate, and there's, like, little game shows and stuff. I'm excited, though. I think tomorrow is the Nassau port day, and honestly, we have been to Nassau so many times, so I think we're just going to really spend the day on the ship. And I... Oh, can we take a dance lesson tomorrow? <laughs> I need to learn how to dance. There's okay, either... Okay, we can... Okay, so there's country at 11 a.m., oh, which we can't do anyway because of our massage. There's the mambo at 4 p.m., or there's the salsa tone. At 10 p.m. The salsa done. Is that the salsa and the reggae at the same time? Oh, yeah, man. Tonight's theme is 60s, 70s, 80s. Not Which that is that... perfect, honestly, because our blue looks like very I mean, good. I agree. So we're doing... I'm doing the black bodysuit skirt outfit, and he's wearing the blue, black, and white shirt. So... At least I'll be, I feel like I'll be pretty comfy all night. I feel like it's not anything too crazy. Oh, the other the only thing is I do have slight heels, which those are the only dress shoes I brought, so I kind of have to wear them. But we've been really just honestly hanging out in the room, relaxing for quite a few hours now, but I needed it after the weekend I had and just, I have been crazy lately i needed a day to just kind of like reset and relax so i'm excited now for the rest of the days although tomorrow is oh, tomorrow morning is gonna be so nice it's so weird because i'm so used to when i go on like trips and stuff like this that everything is in one vlog so like you guys will see it in the same video but i it's vlogmas so every video is going to be different so like i keep saying things about tomorrow but that's gonna be a whole separate video that you're gonna have to come back for so obviously come back for that 
tomorrow but i'm excited to do a whole ship day and really just explore and hopefully everyone will get off at nassau so it'll just be empty we can just hang out in the sun i didn't get a book i am a little bit sad about that i wanted to get the issue was i didn't know i didn't know what to read next the last thing i read was still the housemaid which was honestly i feel like over a month ago if not even more than that i just haven't even gotten a new book i guess i i think i just want to read the second one the housemaid secret or whatever it's called i think i'll go to that and then i gotta discover a new book lexi's trying to get me to read fourth wing or whatever that new like fantasy series is that everyone's loving and I, I don't know why i'm like so hesitant about it because i read twilight loved twilight loved hunger games but i don't know why i'm like hesitant on a fantasy like series again even though those were honestly that so those were like the first books i ever read and loved so i don't know we'll figure that out i'm a little bit sad i don't have one for the ship but if anything i bet there is like a little convenience store kind of thing on the ship that maybe they'll have something or i don't know i'm gonna go get ready for dinner i'll see you with the final fits all right we are ready here are the fits for night one bodysuit is revolve skirt is white fox shoes are revolve where's your fit from shirt is zara zara lululemon lv baby oh is there a lululemon pants fun fact it's that's my middle name just in case you guys wanted to know. I'm surprised you share it now. I used to like hate when people find out your middle name. I never really cared. It was just like more of a thing that I like did just to make it seem like it was like, yeah, a lot worse than what it really is. <laughs> um, are we going straight to dinner or do we want to head for drinks? I want an espresso martini with Frangelico on the rocks. I still don't know. I literally, I don't know. I, I want to be an espresso martini girl. I need to figure out a way to make it exactly how I like it because I don't even love just like a shot of espresso. It's like too much coffee. I need it to be a little bit more creamy, which I feel like the Frangelico, Frangelico does that. Or maybe at Kahlua. Or Bailey's, or what's the or difference? Or Bailey's. It's all three, like it's a little coarse. So but like, like, can I add like yeah, whatever you milk want. and cream? <laughs> <laughs> can I have coffee? Can I have, <laughs> can I have an actual espresso, please, with alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> We just got stopped before dinner to take our little cruise pictures and I literally felt like I was back in like yearbook picture day back in school because I could like, 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 like chin this way. Us oh, he like, knew, yeah, like, he knew drop exactly your shoulder, drop your chin, turn your head, like pose, picture. All right, hey, next. Like, it was fun. It was I was fun. loving it. I can't wait to see those. It was very fun. It was fun. It's kind of fun. Because he was so, it. he was like, just do this, do this, do this. I feel like I was in a photo shoot, but he's getting his drinks right now and then the dining hall is right there, so I'm going to head in. Okay, we're on appetizer number two. I got the seafood ceviche, which is shrimp and scallops. I've actually never tried scallops, and I've been very interested lately, so I'm excited for this. He's got the Spanish delight, and he also Hello. just ordered three. <laughs> he just ordered three dinner items, but he will probably eat every last bite of it. So. back from dinner we went to the show after which honestly we weren't planning on going to because we were like mm, legends of rock like i don't know if i would really like that it was honestly a great time but even dinner was good you know what i don't understand is the couples on tiktok that are like when you've been dating for like two to three years you have nothing else to talk about at dinner because we always have great conversations over dinner always like we always have something to talk about so dinner was fun and then the show, <laughs> it was good, but we just kept, we just have a blast when we're together. So we just kept, the one guy looked like Ed Sheeran and we just kept calling him Ed and they wouldn't give my man Ed a break. He was like the lead singer of every song and he was drenched in sweat and the man just needed like five seconds. Everyone else got to take a break off stage, collect themselves and come back. They would not give Ed a break. Like, it does not matter if we are at a big performance like we were today. I'm hyping it the or fuck up. Like, if we're at a hibachi table. I got oh, you. Oh, like, no one else will pay attention to the chef, and Justin is there the entire time, just... Because like, it's like, I always feel bad, especially in that situation. I like, know. Especially at a hibachi table, it's like... Like, when they're performing and getting nothing back, it's like, 
come it's on. It's just like, yeah, like, I, I imagine myself, like, being in their shoes, and it's like, damn, like, you guys are just dead. So, like, I'm feeding it to it. Like, I'm hyping them up. So, like, we're, yeah, we sat like, front row. Like, I'm talking, like, front row. Like, we were. He is making front. eye contact with these people, and he is getting in their face. In their just, face. Like, I'm just like, I'm with it. Like, I'm just like, just yeah, hyping like, them I'm up. Just getting to it, because I know they're putting in work. And they so were loving like, it. He is literally, they he really is were. The Honestly, ideal they were. Honestly, they smiling at me and See, guys, it goes a long way. We are meeting all the crew now of all the shows, and they were like, oh my god, wait, you were in the front row. And then we were like, yeah, we were. Yeah, it was us. I beat you the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, we just had, like, conversations with the main girl. And they're awesome, honestly. Like, that was, she was so fun. She was really sweet. She's from England. Yeah. Super nice. She just acts at, ever. Okay. But, like, now we gotta be front row to every show. Yeah, but she was telling us that she was on this ship from January to September. Nine which is a long-ass time. Like, which is, honestly, be literally before... Which is kind of cool, but, like... Before they walked in, we were actually just talking about that. We were like, how much do you think, like, you make for that? And we, like, looked up the number, and I was like, that's it? Like, for what they do, I, like, I feel like you get a little more. But then we were like, honestly, you don't have to pay for rent. That's all you're getting paid. You don't have like, to pay for food paid. while you're here. Like, you're oh, literally they're all, just you're getting they're all over there. And they're all eating together, all in the buffet yeah. now. The late night snacks. Oh yeah, so we went to the little party. I was getting jiggy with it. They were playing Mamma Mia, and I was vibing. I was getting jiggy with it. <laughs> but um, then we ended up coming to the snack bar for some pizza. For the late pizza? night snack. Honestly, so good. It's like yeah. Well, it is an Italian ship, so that makes sense. That the pizza's like a one. It almost seems like wood fire pizza. I just you know, like, really want some ranch, and I know that it's very rude to ask Italians for ranch with pizza, but like. Oh, They'll probably stop the shit. I know. <laughs> You're not no, what? And well, our other guy was telling us that like it is so different from like an American cruise to like their other ports that they go because he's like honestly like these Americans chew these crew members apart like they're so rude and I was like honestly, That's unfortunately America. like we are. Like, <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. Like we, yeah, I feel bad for them, but I'm glad that like she remembered us from the front row of the show i like literally said something like oh like awesome job to man she literally took like oh yeah she literally well, came so over to us and like yeah just like and like i feel like she initiated it too like we said something but like she like, and then she was, like engaged oh my God, in a conversation row. right like what do you guys do like yeah no she was awesome so now we're besties so now we're gonna go to her show every night now we're gonna cheer her on every night and then they're gonna like know us we're gonna so fun we should we should come and then we're gonna perform in the in the show there is and we're one night without a show stunting and we're gonna tumble not that i can really tumble anymore but like we're gonna do that i'll sing <laughs> karaoke style yeah we did this karaoke tonight tomorrow though there's karaoke there's bingo and there's a game show that i want to go to all the crew members are over there honestly so we should just pull up on them and be like so what's the vibe so tell me what do you guys do around here <coughs> Oh, it was fun. That, that was would probably cool. be so... Being a cruise ship performer... It's probably such a fun gig. It's probably so fun. Yeah, it's like... And, like, I wonder if they do... If they're going to be in every show? Probably. At least yeah, the singers, probably. Sense. It's probably yeah, the same yeah, singers. Yeah, makes sense. And background dancers. But... Also, just... Uh, I wish... I mean, okay. So, I cheered all my years of college. So, like, I could never do this. But... Not all over my TikTok feed. I am on, like, Semester at Sea TikTok. And that's all I keep seeing... That has to be the coolest experience ever. Oh, semester. I see. Like, you do like a college semester terrible, yeah. on a cruise ship. And you just... I don't know where the school part comes in. But like you just go explore all these ports. For sure. You probably have the best like friend group. And just... I don't know. This girl was just like it's doing just her like, morning yeah. workout just at sea. That life is so enjoyable. Yeah. That has I, to be so cool. Sure, I would yeah. love that. That would probably be... I don't really know if I could like study abroad. I don't know if I would like that as much. Semester at sea, I feel like, would be more for me. I feel like both. Like, really what's the uh, like, like studying abroad? <laughs> <Over>. <laughs> oh, God, like dude. sweet life on deck. <laughs> that would be so fun. Pretty much. But and since we're talking about sweet life on deck, the fact that they had a reservation this year, <laughs> funny. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're not done for the night. Um, we just wanted to get comfy. There's a sunshine party happening on the pool deck that we're just gonna go explore. I will say I'm very proud of us already. Like. We have done so much on the ship. This was our first time ever going to like an actual show on the ship, and this is our third cruise this year. But and it, like it was good. It's, yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was enjoyable. Yeah. Like, so I'm glad we're definitely gonna do a lot more of that this time. Now that we've explored Nassau a million times, so we're gonna go to the party. I'll put some phone clips here if it's fun. But I know when I come back, I'm gonna be tired, so I'm just gonna end the video now. So hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 12. You got three more days on the cruise of vlogs so lots to talk about lots of fun 
I'm excited. This uh, this is so fun. Like, I don't ever do stuff like this during Vlogmas, so it makes Vlogmas a lot more fun. So, hope you enjoyed. Give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on, all that, and I'll see you in the next video.